Accounting assumption number two is the going concern assumption. And that sounds a bit odd. It's probably two words you do know, going and concern, that don't seem to go together and sound a bit clunky. But basically what it is, is in the olden days, businesses were often referred to as concerns. What is your concern? What is your business? We're going to assume that our concern or business is always ongoing. What do we mean? Well, we're looking at A2, accounting assumption number two. And we're going to assume that this, the financial reports of the business are going to be prepared on the assumption that the business will continue to exist and operate into the future. And also, we will assume that it will not be wound up or closed or finished or sold or something like that in the near future. And it will continue its activities as what we say, a going concern or an ongoing business forever. So why are we doing this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to assume if here's today, and here's the future that there's no line in the future that says when the business ends like it doesn't end here or here whoops or here what we assume is that it's infinite the life of the business will continue to exist forever which we call infinite so how it works is this why don't we look at what we don't do first so here's the here's today here's the life of the business we and let's say this owner intends to end the business here they might want to retire or they're going to sell it or they think it'll go broke what would happen then is all the transactions that occur that would have occurred after here or the impact. So I guess if we did it this way, we would say, let's ignore all those. What we should do is instead of ignoring them and considering them in the future, like we're going to put them all here and figure out how every single transaction impacts the business before the owner ends it. And that's not really appropriate. What we're going to say is what we should do is this. We've got a line here for today. Here's the life of the business. Even if the owner does intend to end the business here, what we should do is assume that the business will last forever. And then what we do is we consider the future impact of these transactions, even if we won't own the business. So we can't like draw a line here and ignore everything here. What we do is we do need to consider that, even if we don't think we'll own the business or the business might not exist. We're going to assume that it will, and we're going to consider the impact of all the transactions all the way into the future, which we call infinity. So why do we assume that? Well, basically it's because it allows you to record transactions over multiple periods. Now, when we do the period assumption, we'll explore this in more detail, but periods can be say monthly. So 12 periods a year, one for each month. They can also be quarterly or we've got half yearly as well. So every six months, quarterly would be every three months. So that would be two periods a year. Uh, or maybe we just have one period a year, just one giant period from January to December or commonly in Australia in business, it's from July to June, but whatever, it's 12 months long. And the reason why we have a going concern principle uh, assumption is because, yeah, we can now sort of assume the transactions will occur into the future over multiple periods. And fundamentally, what it does is it allows us to divide our assets and liabilities into two groups. So the assets are the things the business owns, while the going concern uh, assumption allows us to break those into current assets the business will own or use within the next 12 months and non-current assets the business will own or use after the next 12 months. And it also allows us to do the same with liabilities. They're the things the business owes. It allows us to break those into current, the debts and obligations the business will pay within the next 12 months. And it also allows us to break that into non-current liabilities, debts and obligations the business will pay after the next 12 months. If we didn't have a going concern assumption, everything would be current. Everything would go in there and everything would go in there, which doesn't make sense. We're going to assume the business will exist after the next 12 months. In fact, we'll assume it exists forever. And that way it allows us when we do our balance sheet to have nice two sections for both assets and liabilities, current 